Yo, what is up guys? It's Robin back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the LDY Frank P. And first of all, I would just like to thank every single one of you for watching my videos, for liking, subscribing, commenting and all that. Because you are the reason that I was able to try this battle song out. Um, because LDY actually sent this one over for free in order for me to do a review on it and promote their newest competition that's coming up. So basically, if you didn't know, LDY is going to have like a huge... A video competition um, coming in the next month or like the next week actually I'll give you the exact dates and stuff later we'll be going a bit more in depth on that but I just wanted to mention it beforehand so yeah they sent us for free um, this review is not influenced by them though so they didn't tell me what to talk about or anything I'm just gonna give my actual like thoughts on this uh, as if I had bought this so yeah let's get straight into it but like I said before, thanks again for watching and everything because it's thanks to you that this was possible. And honestly, I never imagined this was even going to happen, like someone sending me a battle song for free. But yeah, let's get into it. So this is the Frank P. Um, there was a Frank Z before, I think that was what it's called. Uh, it was like a trainer battle song with like a live blade, but it had like this anyway Frank face on it, um, which was like a hybrid between like a... Kind of like a squiddy and a battle song, like an actual live blade, like trainer live blade hybrid, I guess. But yeah, so now they came out with this one, which in my opinion works a lot better for the design. Um, this is the box that you get with it. Uh, this is what comes in the box. Like you get the Frank P and then you get this really cool LDY tag, which is, oops, which is actually an NFC tag. And you can put this up to your phone and it'll redirect you to like a LDY website. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice to collect, I guess. Just something small that they included for you. But yeah, as you've seen, no extra hardware or anything. But honestly, like, in my opinion, you don't even really need it because you're never going to crank down on like squiddy hardware, you know, or like plastic bellows on hardware. You don't want to crank it too much because then you might be able to crack the plastic. But yeah. So, what has LDY done here? They made their first plastic design. Um, they got titanium inlays over here that you can actually like anodize if you wanted to, or you can take them out. Like in my opinion, it's probably gonna increase the grip if you take them out because there's like little indents here, right? Where the slabs go in. So you would have like a little indent where you could like flip. But to be honest, the grip on this thing is not even that bad. Like when I got this, it's it was super slippery. But that's because this thing comes super oily. So you definitely need to wipe this down once you get it. And then you can kind of judge like how grippy it is. So yeah, since it's super smooth, like it can be slippery when you're doing like twirls and stuff. But honestly, like since it's so lightweight and everything, I think that the weight is actually, uh, the grip is actually fine for what it is. It does not feel super slippery. So yeah, that's definitely fine. Um, what else? The, the weight of this thing is like 75 grams, so it's super light. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of plastic battle songs, but this one, for some reason, flips different, right? I couldn't figure out what it was at first, but I think it's due to like the way the handles are shaped and also the fact that this one's on bushings. So I don't think any single like mainstream plastic battle song has been released with bushings yet like i'm sure some people 3d printed their own and made like uh bushing bellies out of 3d prints but like for example squid industries with their squiddies i got one right here this one runs on washers and this one actually runs on bushings you can definitely tell the difference when you're flipping like this one just feels whoops <clears throat> This one just feels a lot more solid, right? It still has tap because like any plastic bell song is gonna have tap just because like plastic bends, right? But it feels really solid. Like when you're flipping it, you can definitely tell that there's something different here. Like, and that's just the fact that this one runs on bushings. It feels a lot more sturdy, I guess, than any other plastic bell song I've tried. And then also like the, the handle width and shape it's like perfect in my opinion because it does not primarily feel like a plastic battle song like the only thing that feels like a plastic battle song is the weight 
but i can do all my tricks with this thing and like if you've watched will hirsch before then you know like he always talks about squiddy syndrome like when you pick up a squiddy then you like have to switch the way you flip just to like get used to it and with this one i do not have this at all right like i'm not the biggest fan of plastic battle songs just because like i mostly flip at home and i don't really see the need to flip plastic but with this one i've had this for a week now just like trying to test it out i actually found myself like constantly picking this one up just first of all because it's kind of quiet for a plastic battle song which uh, might be due to the fact that it's like a pinless design right like for example the squiddy it's got zen pins but this one's like pinless and what they did is usually on like plastic battle songs you just have like the blade uh, crashing into the side of the channels like just hitting there and for example the squiddy it has like a rubber band right here to like prevent that and i try the chroma it's the same thing they just put like a strip of rubber inside so that it hits and then like hits the rubber but with this one what they did is actually they like with the pins this design they made it so the blade does not hit the inside of the channel so like the only thing you hear basically is like the blade hitting the sides of the channel but not really the inside of the channel like if you go and squeeze it of course you'll hear it but like you can flip this one more quietly than like other plastic battle songs okay well, that's a bad example because this one's actually quieter to my surprise but like the chroma for example was pretty loud um and i guess okay this one's on the close is also pretty loud but it feels bouncier like just due to the fact that they have this pinless design it does feel very bouncy and like i said because of the bushings it feels very very strong it does not feel flimsy at all so something that i would improve and there's like nothing you can really improve on this thing but one thing i would like to have them see changed if they even can is like maybe make this hardware up here black just to like match all the rest of the stuff all the rest of the hardware they have in here because like they got these end weights that are black they have these uh tie liners that have like black in them they got these weights in the blade that is black but then the screws are like silver so that's kind of like a mismatch in my opinion like it would look a lot cooler if it had black like it would add to like a more finished look you know yeah i'm trying to learn some new tricks but yeah whatever this is the frank p like i said and for a plastic battle song it's really great like would i recommend this to you i would say if you're looking for like an outside flipper that performs pretty well that you can take outside without like being worried about like having the cops called on you or anything and we're talking about like countries where it's not allowed to take these outside right and maybe you're going on vacation you need something to take with you to like flip at the airport and stuff uh, i'm not sure if this goes through tsa but like if the squiddy can then this one can too and i've taken like squiddies through tsa before so i'm sure this one would be fine as well since it's made of plastic but yeah you could take this one on your vacations and i'll probably be doing that too or not even probably like i will be doing that like if i go on a vacation i will take this one with me for sure because this one actually feels so good to flip like i'm not a big fan of flipping the squiddy and i'll probably make like a actual comparison soon but this one's just better it feels better it costs way less this one was like i think 80 80 euros on like a black friday sale it's also because it's the autumn version but that's super expensive this one's called uh, this one costs 32 dollars okay 32.99 um so it's also a really great price so yeah like i said before any tricks work all of my tricks that i can do like i can do them with no problem aerials uh, rollovers fans it does it all perfectly which is great like i do not have the same level of confidence with the squiddy this one just feels a lot better to flip and now let's get into the ldy competition so you have the possibility to win like one of 50 battle songs uh this is actually like a huge giveaway so like the 21st to 50th place they get one of these the 11th to 20th place they get one of the 
Frank Z's. So the one that's made out of aluminum with steel blade. Um, sixth to tenth gets an Orion. Fourth to fifth place get a Sirius. The second and third get the new Cygnus L and the first place gets a Vixen. So what do you have to do in order to participate? Um, you just have to submit your video content on YouTube or Instagram. It says the suggested content is fancy combos or flipping with high quality editing, but that doesn't mean you have to do that. So if you find something that you think looks cool and you would like to show off and maybe try to enter the competition with, then you can go ahead and try like maybe, I don't know, like some cool B-roll or something would be sick. Um, so yeah. That's that. Also, the rules for the video submission, it's from the 25th of November to the 24th of December, so until Christmas. Uh, you have to post on YouTube or share on Instagram using the hashtag 2024LDY competition. And on Instagram, for example, I'm not sure if you can do that on YouTube. It says invite collaborator at LDY Bellasong under tag people. I think that's just an Instagram sort of thing that you have to do. I'm not aware of that feature on YouTube. Um, and since you can also post directly and invite LDY as a collaborator on Instagram with the hashtag, the title must include LDY competition and your Instagram account in the title. And you have to have 50 followers combined between Instagram and YouTube. So if you have a YouTube channel with like two, three subscribers, don't worry because like, I'm sure you have an Instagram account with like 50 followers just by randomly following people and they follow you back in the Bellison community because that's kind of how it goes there. And I guess that's just like a way for them to make sure that you don't have like multiple entries because if you could always make a new account, you could make like 20, 30 entries and then just hope that one of your entries gets selected. Um, then it says like about judges and ranking rules. It says judges can participate, but not cannot score their own entries. I'm not a judge, by the way. Uh, I might participate, I'll have to see, but I don't think I will just because I make YouTube videos and they send me this Frank P. So I'd rather have you participate and then win like one of these or even something better, which would be sick. Uh, judges score videos from zero to 10 on collaborated posts under hashtag 2024 LDY competition on Instagram. And then the top 50 are determined by average score after 24th of December and the awards will be sent out within a month after the competition ends. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be participating, but honestly, like I'm not even good enough to with my flipping, but maybe you guys are like super creative if you're not uh, better than me at flipping and you can find like another way to enter like some sick B-roll or something else funny that you can come up with for the battle songs. I mean, in the end, it's just like what the judges rank you. So you just have to try your best and maybe you can win. I mean, 50, 50 prizes is a lot, right? 50 people are going to win. The Bellison community is not that huge. And I'm not sure how many people are actually going to like take the time to participate. So I would say the chances, chances of you winning something are actually really good. So I would like advise you to go ahead and participate. And also like... If you participate, then that gives LDY like even more reason to do more of these giveaways because they're doing it for recognition, right? They're doing it to like spread positivity throughout the Bellison community and like just um, spread their name within it. And in my opinion, like I would assume that if this goes well, they might do something similar like next year, maybe even bigger if that's worth it for them or whatever, you know, just like let them know that we see it as a community that they do this and try and participate win yourself a free ballad song which is cool this one definitely is a good ballad song even for free or, i mean like especially for free right even if you have to pay for it it's a really good ballad song for the price because like i said i paid 80 for this i'm not really happy with this one and this one i would not hesitate paying 33 for like if i hadn't gotten this one and people would tell me like i i still look like if I'm still looking for a plastic battle song, I haven't bought one yet, and people are all like, yeah, buy this one instead of this, I probably would. And it also looks really cool. Yeah, that's one thing I forgot to say. What annoys me on the Squiddy is like, 
you cannot see where the bite handle is or where the safe handle is. Whereas on this one, it is very apparent, even when you're flipping, like you can always basically tell like, okay, I'm on the safe side, I'm on the bite side. Uh, I should have cut myself right there or not, you know, like that's also something really nice. And yeah, that's about all I had to say. Like I said, uh, more detailed comparison is probably gonna come soon. I'm probably gonna disassemble this thing too, just to see like what's going on under the hood here. Like I said before, it runs on bushings, which is like a new sort of thing. Very good. It works very well. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And thank you from the bottom of my heart, again, that you made this possible. Like this is just due to all of you guys that I have been sent this. And I hope you keep watching my videos. You keep liking my videos. Like actually liking my videos, not like on the video, but like you like watching my videos. And if you do want to put a like on the video, then I do appreciate that. And if you want to subscribe, I do appreciate that too. So yeah, thanks. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day. Bye.